The Silly Little Beaver Animated Book Series <laughs> for Kids. Travis the Traveling Grapefruit Tree. Written and narrated by Luke Deline. Illustrated by Lene Deline. Travis the Traveling Grapefruit Tree was brought to life by a sweet little girl named Lily. He was a happy plant with beautiful green leaves and a trunk. He was clean and happiest when he wasn't surrounded by junk. On bright sunny days he would bask in the light and carefully be placed in the house at night. But he longed for adventure and really wanted to see all of the sights beyond the house, not typical for a tree. He asked the flower who grew beside his pot if she had been able to get out a lot. No, she replied in a stern but happy voice. She never left the house, but that was her choice. One day in early June, young Travis got his wish. Lily's daddy picked him up, set him in the front seat comfortably in a leak-proof dish. Travis was both nervous and excited for the journey ahead. He wished Mavis was there too, but she stayed home instead. As the car's engine started and left the garage, Travis could see a strange black surface which looked like a mirage. Music played and the windows were down. The breeze blew Travis's leaves and soon they were out of town. Travis the traveling grapefruit tree had fulfilled his dream. They traveled over mountains and on a bridge over a stream. Several hours had passed and Travis had seen so much when Lily's daddy decided to stop for some lunch. He picked up Travis and set him on the grass. Travis spread out his leaves and soaked up the warm sun, which was available in mass. Suddenly, a moth landed on one of his leaves. You're not from around here, he said. You don't look like the local trees. Travis tried to talk, but he was in shock as he looked up and saw a cute little plant growing from a rock. The plant had leaves that were narrow, pointy, and long. It looked kind of like a tree, and to grow in a rock, it had to be strong. Before Travis could get out a word, Lily's daddy picked him up high, put him back in the car, and Travis let out a sigh. Traveling was fun, he decided, but he missed his little girl. As he thought about Lily, his leaves began to curl. I had it perfect at home. Oh, how I wish I could go back. Say hi to my flower friend and have Lily feed me that stuff from the sack. Travis got his wish yet again as he arrived in a new house with Lily, who anxiously set him down by her side. Travis would travel once in a while, which was fine by him until he grew too large and began growing grapefruit from each limb. He always told stories to all of his friends, including young bushes and trees, about the days of traveling between each of the seas. The End